Ashley Jackson, four, Luke Colville, five, Dylan Coggill, six, Bailey Gooder, seven, Brad Plant, eight, Lewis Maloney, nine, Jake Bay, ten, Kieran Glynn, and eleven, Cameron Wilson. Just nicking it away, our Grantham at the moment is um, Wafula getting hold of it this time, and it's now um, another good tackle there by um, Cogill. And it's now um, Brad Plant, who's, um, I think, really improved the side as well, coming in as well up on the uh, midfield and adding that extra bit of spark as well in the attack. Um, Whitley now back with the ball. Oh, not the um, greatest um, kick out there from Whitley. It's um, fallen to Lee Shaw. Now brings it over to John Wafula. And now it's back to, I think that's Ricky Miller, just on the edge of the uh, penalty area. Gets a cross in there, it's a deep one, but it's... Um, Shouldn't be too much trouble, but it has been picked up by um, Lee Shaw on the opposite end. We thought it was just going to be in C now, and he's um, Williamson trying to get across in it. It's a good one, and uh, the shot from Wafula just goes over um, Whitley's goal. So a um, bit, bit nervous there, wasn't it? Yeah, he just seemed to have a little bit too much space there in the uh, in the box. He's kind of on the penalty spot, unmarked, and he's just checked away. And, and obviously, luckily for us, he's put it over. And Watson. On his chest, now onto the floor. Has a look up before he passes it to um, Kieran Glynn. Glynn now um, just trying to keep on his feet there. He's had a little swipe there from Wafula. Maloney um, now gets the ball. Lovely pass there from Maloney to um, Plant on his right hand side. Little step over into the box. He just couldn't get his cross in there. And I think that's the first corner for Scarborough. And um, we're going to go back to um, Watson taking set pieces. Dylan Cogill on the um, front line he now moves around to the back looking for um, I think it was a um, Kogel there and a little pot shot there from Jack Day just wide off the mark there but do you do a lot of practice in training with um, set pieces corners and that yeah um, we've got a couple of pass lead I'm not going to say what they are obviously in case anyone's listening But anyway, Kieran Glynn now, over on his um, left-hand side. Still with the ball, Paps it, taps it through to um, Coville. The keeper went for it, but here we go, here we go. Oh, and it's just wide there from um, Cameron Wilson. It was all set up nicely for him there, but he must have had a touch there from um, Grantham. I thought I was going to have to hold you down there, Will. Great <laughs> ball, <laughs> I think Whitley just likes to take his time and find out where, where he wants to put it. And he's um, normally um, to Jake Day, who just shifts his body to try and get the ball forwards to one side, let the ball bounce there. Scarborough get a hold of it now with um, Plant, little step over there, trying to get it past the um, full back there of Ryan Grant. Ooh, Grant and um, Plant. Grant and Plant <laughs> having a bit of afters. There, but Scarborough get a throw in here, and it's going to be. Um, Brian Watson to um, take this. Oh no, no, we're going to leave it for Jackson. Yeah, there we go. Barely got to make his way into there, and so's Cogill. The Jackson. A bit more of a direct one. A little flick on there, and there we go. Goal from Jake Day. Header past the goalkeeper. Scarborough now 1 0. From Assy Jackson's throw there. Dead long throws and set pieces, Ant, I told you. Yeah, I've got, I've got when, he, when he does the um, throws, he just gets some height up. He gets a lot of height onto that throw. You think that, you know, with a long throw in, you might want to put a bit of power in there, but he always goes with a lot of height and it just gives you a bit more time to think what you want to do with yeah, that. Yeah, it's exactly that. If it's too flat, it's, uh, it's difficult to get there. And he's just seemed to hang that one up and Jake's managed to get his feet and come to play and just flick it on. People look like he came for it as well, I think, and he's just missed it. A couple of assists from Jackson lately. Yeah, Obviously. he has. He has since he's come back into the team. Um, he's done really well. Assists from long throws as well yeah. as, as from flying down that left bank. Yeah, Staley Bridge last week. Um, he got the um, throw in there. 
Was, was there much discussion about who got the goal then between Bailey and uh, Maloney? No, Lou was having none of it. We tried to get Bailey uh, three goals in three, but Lou was having none of it. He said he never touched it, so we've let Lewis take that one. <laughs> But we always a good shout though. I saw uh, Christian Mitch in the X physio uh, with another with another angle. There we go and across it. Oh, he's in the goal! There, and he's now Brad Club with the header. <laughs> Sat just talking about last week. First talk about this week in Scarborough. Two 0 up at the moment. Grantham have seems to have opened themselves up here, and it's a lovely header there by uh, by Bradley Plant. Right in front of the um, home support as well in the shed end, so a um, little high fives here by um, Cogill and Plant. So it's looking a good result at the moment, Scarba 2 0 up in the first half. See quite a few happy faces. So um, Watson gets the ball over to uh, Wilson. Oh, Glynn trying to get hold of the ball, but he'd already raced off. Kugel now, uh, long ball, looking for Plant, who's uh, probably looking for a second goal here and um, a third for Scarber in the league as he gets a cross in there this time. Kieran Glynn trying to keep the ball active and forwards, but Grantham bring the ball back to Kugel. Now with um, Coville over on his left-hand side. Brings it over to uh, Wilson now. Wilson, who's uh, probably a good addition, um, the Sky, uh, Scunthorpe loan. He gets it over to Watson. Watson in the box has a shot. The outside of the, um, the goal there. I've got to be honest, that goal's getting a bit of attention from um, the Scarborough players at the moment. Yeah, and I think Lotto probably only had one thought in his mind when he picked that up there as well. He, he, does, he does like a shot. He does, he. Um, he has a screamer as well. He's got. We know he's got. He's got that in his locker. He's now with uh, Maloney. Now to Bailey. Bailey over to Jake Day on the halfway line. Jake Day look releases Plant. He's just got Grant to get through, and he uh, has a shot. Not much power on there. And it's easy for Pollard to get down. Williamson now with another throw in for the gingerbread men. Anyway, it's um, Grantham now into the box. It's um, Grant. Oh, too much power on that one. He's gone over the um, witness crossbar, which is nice to see. Just in front of the uh, where normally the main noise comes from, from the Scarborough Faithful. Looks like um, another good crowd today here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Kieran Glynn now uh, just getting in the middle of the midfield and moving out the goal kick, uh, sorry, the referee's way, but it's um, now Ed Cook trying to get the ball forwards over to um, Jarrell. And it's now uh, the number 11 gets past Whitley. He's just on the edge of the um, penalty area. It's an open goal. We're looking for um, Wafula trying to get the ball down there. Couldn't get down quick enough. Whitley's back in the um, goal now. And... Um, Plant. Yeah. And then there we go, that's the um, half time um, halftime whistle there from um, the referee. And um, Scarborough leading currently 2 0 here at Flamingo Land Stadium. now brings it over to Maloney. Maloney now to Coville in a lot of space here. Big gap here, Coville with a shot from distance. Just wide. Wanting to make the substitute before then, but no. We're going to have the free kick first of all. And it's left for Maloney. Maloney drills this one in. It's headed away there by Williamson. Back to Maloney. It does really well to keep hold of it, but it's now with um, Juan Xavier. Xavier now trying to get the ball over to um, Ricky Miller. Trying to get it over to um, Wafula. 
Header out there by um, Whitley on the edge of his area. The ball's now back with Watson. Ryan Watson now on the ball. Goes long looking for um, Plant. Lovely little um, ball there from Plant. Lovely touch. Tries to get rid of um, the um, fullback Grant. Now looking for a bit of support from Watson there. Um, Watson just overtook him there on the um, switch over. But he's now left it over to um, Maloney now. Jake Day, lovely first touch. Brings it to Coville. Coville's shot. Not the best, but the keeper. Doesn't really get a good hand on to that. And um, there seems to be a bit of a jam just outside Scarborough's box, but it's been freed up there by um, Ricky Miller, but it's um, easy caught there by um, Whitley. And that takes it over to Cadman now, who's on this um, right-hand side. Easy um, standing out there, and he's gone for a shot there. Oh, it? Shades of the FA Cup away tight. Stratford there from Cadman. You know what? He's looking like he's going to score today. Cadman. He's looking good for it. I've got to be honest, he always looks good for it when he's on the pitch, though, Cadman. Trying to bring the ball forwards. But Scarborough now get hold of it. Maloney, tremendous player in midfield. Now over to um, Glynn. Obviously, uh, being a Middlesbrough fan, that Maloney is, we'll call him the little Jorginho. A little bit of magic that he causes, especially with his goals. Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. Good manager as Wilder. Anyway, um, the number nine trying to look for um, a free kick there, but Ricky Miller did trip over his own feet. Ball now with Cadman. Cadman now in a really good space here. Just on the edge of the penalty area. Will he get a shot off? No, he's going to leave it for Glenn. Glenn shoots. Oh, and he just goes wide. Oh, oh. The fans have been telling Glenn to shoot more. And he's had a shot there. Just need to get it on target. Cadman picking out Glynn there. So, oh, oh, he's jerked in, little ricochet there. He's going to have a little toe poke at that, but it's easy for Pollard. Get the attentions away from Kieran Glynn, but now Grant, now the fullback. Um, Glynn was involved in that again to stop the attack from um, Grantham, but they're still coming down on this left-hand side. Bailey Nichols with the cross. And that's the final whistle here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Scarborough continue this good run of form at the moment. 2-0 the victors, no goals in the second half. All the goals are in the first half between Jake Day and Bradley Plant. And a really good victory. See you later very much, and I'll see you all next week away at Witten.